a jet suit that defies gravity. And the company that builds them is called accordingly, Gravity Industries. It is powered by seven gas turbine engines, producing over a thousand horsepower. Weighing approximately 27 kilograms, it can achieve speeds of up to 137 kilometers per hour with a maximum flight time of around 10 minutes. Additionally, the military has reportedly tested the jet suits for search and rescue missions. The price is set at approximately $500,000 plus taxes for those interested in purchasing one. Building on the foundation laid by Pivotal's earlier prototype, the Blackfly, unveiled in 2018, the company is now accepting orders for its fourth generation aircraft, Helix. It's a single seat vertical takeoff and landing vehicle powered by eight electric motors and propellers. It has a range of 32 kilometers and can reach cruise speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour. It weighs about 115 kilograms and is classified as a part 103 ultralight aircraft in the United States, meaning you don't need a pilot's license. Not only that, it conveniently disassembles to fit into a 5-metre trailer and can go from storage to sky in 30 minutes. The aircraft is anticipated to be shipped in early 2025 and is offered in three packages, starting at $190,000. With 18 independent electric motors and propellers, this oversized drone-like aircraft named Hexa is a single-seat electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. Unlike helicopters, which are quite difficult to fly, Lyft claims that almost anyone can fly the Hexa with less than an hour of training, regardless of experience. Weighing about 200 kilograms, it qualifies as an ultralight aircraft under FAA regulations, meaning no pilot's license is required to fly it. Additionally, it can fly and land safely even with up to six motors inoperable. The Hexa is priced at $500,000. With a price like this, it may be surprising to hear that only two units are remaining for sale at the stated price. For individuals who want to try the Hexa without purchasing, the cost is about $250 per flight. On the screen, you can see a concept aircraft from Supernol, a subsidiary of Hyundai Motor Group. It's an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle designed to transport people faster from point A to point B. Equipped with eight all-tilting rotors for vertical takeoff and horizontal cruising, it can fly at an altitude of up to 460 meters. Accommodating up to four passengers, it can reach a cruising speed of 193 kilometers per hour with a maximum range of about 64 kilometers. Additionally, the company claims it will operate as quietly as a dishwasher. Hyundai plans to launch the SA2 commercially by 2028. Resembling something like a futuristic Lamborghini, this supercar was developed by Bellwether Industries. This is their third generation aircraft model design named Vola Oryx. With no wings or external propellers, this vertical takeoff and landing vehicle lifts off using a propulsion system hidden under the aircraft's body. While there isn't much information available about technical aspects of Vola Oryx on their website, we do know that it inherits the concepts of earlier models. And based on that, the Oryx might reach cruise speeds of around 217 kilometers with a flight time of about 90 minutes. Bellwether plans to release the first commercial model of the Oryx to the market by 2028. Following the successful completion of their first manned test flight, the Dorone H1X flying car has officially acquired certification from the FAA, meaning you can actually use it throughout the country. Once the H1X is fully assembled, it can fly up to 40 minutes on a single charge, carrying a maximum payload weight of approximately 230 kilograms. It can reach a top speed of almost 200 kilometers per hour and has a range of 100 kilometers. Conveniently, the aircraft has been designed to fit within a standard two-car garage. You can pre-order the HX1 for $350,000 with an expected delivery date in 2026. Don't forget to subscribe to Unstoppable Gadgets. And if you want to check out some cool flying vehicles, 
click on the screen for the next video.